Hey, hello, my friends. I'm Paul Apollonia. I'm going to be showing you what I sold on eBay from November 16th to November 22nd, 2020. Hey, please smash your like button. Found this uh, video helpful in any way. And please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. You know, I've got like pretty small potatoes compared to others here with 498, but I appreciate every single one of you subscribing. And I hope you're getting the value out of it that you wish you are getting. All right, we uh, had a pretty good week um, on eBay and sold a few other things on some other uh, platforms, not too much on other platforms, mainly on eBay is my main bread and butter. Um, Facebook update, still having issues with Facebook. I'm going to uh, chat with somebody today about that and try and figure it out and get back there because, excuse me. Uh, most of my business I run through Facebook with getting consignment clients and everything. Um, most of my items I get for free. I part out a lot of items. Um, the uh, Craigslist appliances, electronics, stuff like that. And I also do a lot of consignment. Consignment is not for everyone. Just make sure uh, you're hooking up with good clients. That uh, you explain to them it takes a lot of work to do this. It's not easy work doing consignment. You got to, you know, you're not only selling items, then you have to deal with people and their emotions. And I mean, I enjoy it. Uh, just make sure you're hooking up with people that understand that their stuff will sell at market value. You'll try and get as much as you can. But in the end, it usually sells at market value. So if they're trying to sell grandpa's uh, favorite mug he drank out of for 40 years, it's just a mug. Unless it's something fancy, it's going to sell for what a mug sells for. All right, let's uh, get this show on the road and uh, let's get on with what I sold. As I said before, many times I do sell cigar boxes. I'm a, not casual, but cigar smoker. Um, and I go to the uh, wine cigar store and they have these boxes sometimes sitting on the shelf. They are free at this place. I would not pay any more than a dollar for a cigar box because there's not much money you're going to make on these things. A few you can make decent money, but not, not anything like huge. Uh, I normally ship these out first class. This did not go out first class. This had to go out priority because it was heavy. So I did not make a whole lot of money on this. I probably made in the end, remember I paid nothing for it. So um, I probably made uh, maybe five, six dollars on this box. I usually average between five and um, eight dollars. I did sell a box you'll see later on in these uh, items where I made sixteen dollars on it. So that was good money. But hey, again, I'm getting it for nothing. I am throwing in a box, a little bit of packing material, and it's gone. Uh, one minute grabbing it, a uh, couple minutes listing it, because I do a self similar user, because I sell a lot of these boxes, and a couple minutes packing it. So I will take that. Uh, many sellers um, only sell things that will bring in $20 or more or $50 or more. That's fine. I have nothing against that. I never tell anybody how to run their business. I sell anything and everything. If I can make a couple bucks off of it and it's a quick ship, Quick list, quick ship. I will uh, do it in a uh, heartbeat. Uh, Christmas stuff does sell all year round. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these um, ceramic Christmas decoration things have kind of tanked in the last year or two. Well, these used to go for a lot more than this. I had to do free shipping because that's what everybody else was doing. Uh, this was a uh, old, 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 old consignment client that I had sold off most of the stuff. And this was just stuff I just found laying around. That is the one cool thing about doing consignment after a while. Some people just say, don't worry about it. Just keep whatever you got and don't worry about it, which could be good. Uh, probably made maybe $10 on this, maybe $8. My consignment rates were 50-50 split. For the first hundred dollars and it goes uh, my percentage goes down after that another consignment client uh, again i'll state it like i said last week and weeks before always keep in contact with your competitors if they are cool people uh, you will get business from your competitors there's a consignment uh, gentleman i know lives uh, trader chris lives about an hour away obviously another town does high-end consignment stuff that i have no desire to get into like really really high-end stuff state stuff and just very expensive things. And this guy called them back right before the pandemic and said, I've got a bunch of stuff. I was a uh, hunter fan salesman and water pick salesman back 15, 20 years ago. And I got a garage and basement full of stuff and I want to get rid of it. 
So Chris called me and said, here, call this guy. I called him and it's been working out pretty good. So $32.99, half of that. So uh, is that like 16 bucks? That is not bad for something I didn't have to go out and thrift. I just had to load my, I did two van loads of stuff. So there was time taken there. There's time going to be taken no matter what you're doing. Consignment, thrifting, garage selling, parting out stuff. A lot of time is involved in this business. So, you know, it either gets you the beginning or the end time-wise. Um, so that was a good one. Th these are very old. Excuse me. So don't be afraid to sell old things. I make a lot of money off of selling old, old things. Uh, this vacuum cleaner canister went out again. I sold it a couple weeks ago and the gentleman didn't pay attention and it was the wrong fit. He was nice enough to say, I'm shipping it back at my cost, which was really cool. Um, I do have it stated in my description that, um, oops, I, <laughs> I usually have it not responsible for part not fitting, but oops, that's usually what I have in there is it up here in my condition description. No, um, which really doesn't mean much. eBay can still approve the, the return and that's fine. So I sold this went a uh, global shipping program, which is eBay's version of international shipping. It's a really cool program. Um, I love it. I know some people do not like it. They believe that the buyer is charged extra taxes or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I've been using it since, it's inception. What you basically do is, is if you sell international and you're in global shipping, you all you gotta do is ship it to eBay's location in Kentucky. They have a big center down there, I guess. And uh, they get it. Once they get it, you will get an email. <clears throat> yes, I said an email. And the same guy that says don't respond to anything except an eBay message, but eBay will send you an email saying they got the item. Then they'll say they ship the item. Then it'll say the person received the item. So you'll get communication with that. Um, got this for free off a vacuum cleaner I found in the trash. So didn't make a whole lot of money. Probably made about $12, $13 on this after shipping. My shipping is flat rate. Uh, most of the time I make a little bit of money on shipping. Sometimes I lose a little bit of money. Whatever money I make, I do not refund the buyer. Uh, that's part of like, you know, I got to buy packing stuff and my time to pack it and, and everything else, my expertise to pack it. So whatever money I make, that's mine. Uh, Golf Club, another reseller gave me. Uh, Dennis, he actually does a few classes in the area. He's actually moved away. But um, when he was moving, he called me up and said, hey, you want some stuff? <clears throat> Come and get stuff. It's free. So he gave me his Golf Club, and I did pretty good on this. I made, um, it went to Virginia. I put it. It actually still <laughs> was under one pound. So I guess if I found a long enough box, I could have shipped it under one <laughs> first class. Because remember, when you're doing eBay shipping, when you go to your shipping through eBay, it's 16 ounces, first class post office. If you go to take that same package to post office, it's only going to go up to 13 ounces. So um, probably could have made a box for this thing and shipped it out first class. But it went to Virginia. It, it I think it cost me like... <clears throat> nine something to ship it to him. I used, which I don't have, two of those elongated triangle boxes from the post office. I telescoped two of them together and pushed them down and put it in that and it got there with no problem. What did I make on this? So I say probably like $25, $29, maybe $30 for an item I got for nothing. Here is the cigar box I was telling you about. There are certain cigar boxes that sell pretty good for pretty good money, as far as the cigar box goes. Uh, I made uh, $16 on this because it's a larger cigar box. The Cohiba boxes do really, really well. $24, $26 bucks you can get for those with free shipping. I, as far as my shipping, if I see a lot of things being shipped free, I will do it free. I'm not a huge fan of free shipping. Just make sure that you add your shipping costs into your cost that you want to sell it for in your selling price. Um, eBay loves free shipping. You'll get better search results using free shipping. I like it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. it, it all depends what mood I'm in, to be honest with you. But so there you go. There's a $16 cigar box I made 16 bucks off of. <clears throat> uh, this Toshiba laptop, I was at the thrift store at the dumpster. And I saw this laptop in the dumpster with the cord and everything. I'm like, what the heck? wonder what's on the hard drive. 
which I did not even check. It did not power on, which I stated parts not working. Please read in my condition description, no power. Well, not power on. It's probably just the cord is bad. Um, but let's see what else I wrote down here. And I sold it within about a week. I made $20 off of this uh, free laptop I found in the um, dumpster. I did make a video on how to get a hard drive out. I never sell a laptop or a computer with a hard drive in it anymore uh, for two reasons. I just don't know what's on that hard drive. And I'm really not familiar with Windows anymore because I'm basically like 99.9% .9 Chromebook, which is not a Windows machine, not an Apple machine. It's a Chromebook. It runs off the Chrome operating system. But um, so I just take the hard drive out. Very easy to take hard drives out. You can Google it. I, I make videos every time I take a hard drive out so people know how to do it. Grab it out of the dumpster, two minutes, brought it home, do the hard drive out, another, let's even say 10 minutes to make the video and everything and take the hard drive out, clean it up a little bit, throw some vinyl protector on it, make it shiny. Um, and that was it. And it went into a... It didn't go into a, a, a flat rate box. When it's just as a box, I had to use my box sizer tool for, which is it is gonna be pretty long today. I'm sorry, guys. It's this tool here. You're going to, um, oops, you're going to run your box. <laughs> you're going to bring it down and then run your box all the way around, and it makes the box of different sizes. I don't know how that got loose. But um, so that's not bad. Made 20 bucks off of that. Went out to California. Unfortunately, nothing went to California. It's just very expensive to ship things out to California. I think the post office wanted $37. FedEx wanted like $13. So um, that was pretty good. Another part I sold off of a vacuum cleaner is the second time I've sold these. First time I got returned because the guy wasn't paying attention and he ordered the wrong part. I did take the return back and paid for shipping because the guy was giving me problems. But I relisted them and they sold and I haven't heard anything back from this guy. Got this for free. Um, when I get a Dyson vacuum cleaner, I could clean it up and resell it on Craigslist. Maybe make 100 bucks off of it. Or I can part it out and make probably $200 off of the parts. Now, some of the parts take a lot longer to sell. They're going to be called what they call long tail sales. Be in your store, your eBay store, or your eBay listing for a while. But that is fine. Uh, another item from the um, the consignment client I told you about before, the water pick guy. Uh, these are not going for big bucks. These shower heads are really not selling that well. I don't know what it is. If it's a quick ship, like I said, a quick ship, quick sale, I don't mind making seven bucks off of it. And besides, the guy's giving me so much, that's okay. I normally don't take low cost stuff like this on the consignment unless it's uh they're giving me a lot of stuff or there's some some sweet things in the piles they're giving me but he's got a lot of these i figure we can flip these i may even lower the price even more just to get rid of these things it did go out first class i think i think it did i can't remember i've been so busy this week with thanksgiving coming up um so I think, uh, yeah, I made like seven bucks, maybe a buck or two off for shipping. So that is not bad on that. Uh, another one, this guy bought two of these. Did he buy two? I thought he bought two. I don't know what, I can't, I can't remember. I think maybe he bought two, maybe somebody else bought two. But um, these do sell. These are low-end sales, obviously. There's another consignment sale from the guy, the water pick guy. Uh, five bucks, very, throw it into a, all I do is I wrap it with whatever I've got, brown paper, piece of bubble wrap. And throw it into a, uh, a just a plastic envelope and it's gone. Uh, dishwasher control boards do very, very well. Again, they can be long tail sales too, meaning they can be in your store for a while, but you will sell them. How I sell these is when I get the dishwasher off of uh, Craigslist or Facebook, whatever, uh, I do a screen print or I write down what's wrong with it. And so I know if they're saying it's leaking or anything but like there's like a cycle issue or it's not rinsing or stuff like that then i assume the board is okay there is a way of testing these and actually a couple months ago i did sell one and it was not working and the guy kindly messaged me back and showed me how to test it with 
uh, a multimeter and stuff. And I wrote it down, but actually I never really tested this one either. I did do a full refund on that guy immediately when he said it wasn't working. I don't mess around with that. So if this is not working, I just do a full refund and I say, I'm sorry that it's not working. Sometimes I say it got may have gotten damaged in, in shipping or something, but um, most of the time these are working. What you got to look for when you're, when you're looking at these are these capacitors. See those, let me, um, eh. let me do this. See those capacitors there. Make sure they are not split or expanded. Like, looks like a mushroom on the top. Oh, we got a lot more to go here. Let me go a little bit faster. This was an item that's been in my store for three years. And I found it. <laughs> Which really surprised me. Um... I'm more shocked that I found this thing, to be honest with you. I was going to just say, I was, you can't find it. But I looked and I actually picked it up and moved it and then looked around and then went, wait, wait a minute, that's the tank I just moved. So I um, actually did some more additional cleaning to this. So this looks like brand new. I cleaned up everything. This is all gone. That black is gone. Um, I use mineral spirits to clean these things off. And I put a little bit of uh, rubber protectant on it. So it looked nice and shiny. Didn't make a whole lot of money on this. Probably made about seven bucks. Took some time to find it, so uh, didn't make much money. It wrapped it up. Excuse me, wrapped it up and uh, put it in a poly envelope, and it went out first class. Uh, another uh, another uh, item from the water pick hunter guy. I I contacted him last week and said, "Hey man, you got any more thermostats? I've sold all the thermostats that you have. Do you have any more?" He goes, "Let me check." He called me back. He said, or texted me back. He said, "Yep, I got them." Let me know when you're coming over. I'll put them in a box, put them in front of the garage. I said, I'll be right over in about an hour. Went over, picked them up, listed them Saturday, Friday. I forget when I listed them. And I sold this one within an hour. So don't be afraid to sell old things. This is new old stock is what I call it, meaning it's new, but it's been sitting around for a while. And I even state that in my description. New old stock, been sitting around for a while. Always make sure you use your item specifics. Take your time. Take the time to fill these out. When you're filling them out, when you do the pull-down menu and you see selections, try and pick one of those. You can put your own in there, but if you pick one of those, millions of people have searched on these. So this is pulled off of eBay because I put the UPC code in there. So eBay pulled some additional information out of it which is nice also. Remember, if you have a UPC code, always put that in there if you have it. And there's ways of finding it if you don't have it. Just Google the item, space UPC, and it should pop up somewhere. So that was half of that. So I made a quick go, like 26 bucks off of that. Uh, another consignment item. Other gentleman is possibly moving. He's not sure, but he's clearing out his house. He found a bunch of stuff in the attic. I've got a half a garage full of his stuff. Uh, this took a while to sell. It's been in my store for about a month. Uh, not a big dollar, probably uh, $23 I made off of this. And a little bit off of shipping. I forget what I made off of shipping. Um, how I shipped this was I used two small, not not too small, two of the small Walmart boxes you can buy. Walmart's got pretty good prices on boxes. I think they're like 60 cents a piece. Um, I put a piece of foam on the bottom that I had from a memory foam mattress that I sold all the controllers and everything off of, and we had to renew the mattress, and I put another piece of foam on the top, and I telescoped the box on top of another box, taped around the sides, made sure there's, there's no edges sticking out, and that's how I shipped that. Uh, I'm a ham radio operator, N3 GCA, not very active but I got this what they call a ham fest, which is basically a big flea market where ham radio guys are selling their old equipment they don't want anymore. Only reason why I go to ham fest anymore is not to buy things for me, but to buy things to resell. I bought this for $5. So it's not a big dollar item I made here. But again, I, I go, I buy things and I resell them. Probably made um, about like maybe $15 on this, maybe. It went out in an A box, which is nice. It was uh, eight, went out in an A box. It was eight bucks to ship it out, went to, down to California. That is your A box. 
So it's a smaller box available not at the post office. You got to get these online. But I take that back. Sometimes they are available at the post office now. I'm seeing some of these regional boxes at the post office. So see, I mean, it's okay to sell things if you're not sure if it's not working or not. Just state it in your listing and you can sell it as parts. You can sell selection not used, but parts not working or repair, whatever it's called. They change it all the time. But just be honest in your listing saying it was working last. The guy told me it was working. I don't know. Again, my, my attitude is if there's a problem, I just refund them and be done with it. I don't dicker over returns anymore. I used to do that when I first started. This would ruin the whole day. Refrigerator shelf. I Quick story. I put this on Instagram last night. I bought a, our refrigerator died in the garage. And I bought a used refrigerator for $311 off of a refrigerator repair place. As I was putting my old refrigerator in the truck, in the truck, in my van to take to the scrap yard, I thought, whoa, 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 what about the shelves? Pulled all the shelves out, looked them up. Hey, man, these things are selling for some decent money. So as of Saturday when I sold this, I have made profit. So the refrigerator was three hundred eleven. I've made over two hundred dollars, two, two twenty, two ten. I forget what the total amount is. Profit after fees and shipping from selling shelves from the old refrigerator. My goal is to hit three eleven. I don't think I'm going to do that, but um, I've got a couple more shelves to sell. And let me show you how I pack this. I always tell you guys uh, when I got odd things, I take a box and I fold it around. Excuse the mess in the back of the room there. Um, this is basically what I do. Um, I take the, I took a heavy duty, small, low sum improvement box, a dollar forty, dollar sixty, I forget what it is. Uh, cut it open, flattened it out, flat surface, laid the, uh, the rack on top, folded, folded, and then cut. What is the point? This is a good job. Cut it, you know, the overlay, cut it, taped it with eBay tape, obviously. Um, and then did the ends, um, cut them, folded them, like you're doing, a, like, like you're wrapping a holiday gift or whatever. Well, and you use a lot of eBay tape, but then I get this for, I don't want to say free because I'm paying for my eBay store fees and everything, but eBay does send you a uh, code for some shipping supplies every quarter. So that's how I do that. Like I said, I'm excited to be making, I love making money from parts laying around the house. It's amazing the money you can make sure some stuff laying around the house parts. Uh, this was an older item I got at two uh, ham fest in October. I sold some old graphic pencils, some drawing pencils for $16. Bought this for 50 cents. I bought the pencils for 50 cents. Not a big dollar sale, not a big dollar earner. How I shipped it out was in one of these poly envelope, wrapped one wrap of bubble wrap around it, put it in here, <coughs> went out at four ounces, first class. So I turned 50 cents into $10 on this one. Old, uh, old stuff like this sells, old graphic stuff, old compasses, um, protract, all, all, all the old kind of tools, comp compasses. What, what else have I sold? mechanical drawing tools i mean all that stuff i bought a box off of it at an estate sale years ago for two dollars and i must have made a hundred dollars off of that box of stuff that was in there um, i do sell some weber grill parts this was the consignment guy that thinks he's moving he's not sure he has a couple gear grills he said here take this grill see what you can do with it and again i could have tried to sell it on craigslist or facebook and have a bunch of no shows so i thought no i'm gonna just part it out um, sold the lid for 40 bucks, sold a few other pieces. This piece took me a while to get off of the grill. A lot of banging and everything. A lot of WD-40 to get the uh, to get it out of the rusted metal pieces it was sitting in. Went to Vegas, uh, first class. Uh, what that is popping up? I blocked all that stuff to not do that while we're on the video. Um, so I did pretty well. Consignment, half of that. If he wants to do consignment with this, sometimes people give you stuff. Sometimes they say, here, just take this. Sometimes they want you to do consignment on something. Some, it's, it's just weird. <laughs> so whatever, six bucks, 12 bucks, whatever. It was, it, it's gone. 
And how I ship this, I put it in two poly envelopes, one on each end. Oh, first I wrap it with some bubble wrap or brown paper or whatever I had, and then two poly two two plastic envelopes, tape center, and uh, send it out like that. Three more items ago, another cigar box, another twenty-four dollar cigar box. So I made another sixteen dollars on this cigar box around there. Another ham radio, uh, ham radio, uh, ham related item. I got this at the last ham fest in November. I uh, just listed this stuff yesterday, listed everything, and it sold to a gentleman in Canada. Went global shipping program. And he sent me a message stating how he wanted it packed and everything, and that's fine. I, um, how I packed it was I found a box. It was about a couple inches on each side bigger, and I used some more of that foam from that mattress, um, cut the foam around it. He made he, he wanted to make sure that the cord wasn't going to go in front of the display and scratch the display, um, which I made sure it did not, and it will be gone today. Uh, remote controls do sell. Uh, don't discount remote controls. Uh, more buttons, the better. Some of the universal remotes do sell, but I would stick with um, remote select techniques, Sony, um, stuff like that. Um, and this is how you, as you notice, just always take a picture. I always take a picture of the battery compartment open. And even if there's damage in there, you can clean that out with some baking soda or sometimes just a knife. You could just flick all the the acid out acid from batteries is not what it used to be it used to do a lot of damage before and you see that that is the light and how i got that was by using my phone on camera mode and pressing the button on the remote and taking a picture of it that's how you get that light to show up so it shows a person that it's working this was a consignment item that i got from a great brand new consignment client i'm so stoked i landed this one i met her probably a couple of months ago parents passed away unfortunately a while ago and there were big battles with the house with some whatever some issue with the house and i met with her and you know, i don't know if i want to do this and then she called me a couple weeks about two weeks ago and said all right i'm ready so i went over there and this is the first thing we sold wow <laughs> but i listed a few vintage uh, stereo equipment and receivers and stuff like that so and i got a whole house full of stuff to list and i told her let's let me take minimal things back to my house we've got a storage place here and she's no rush to sell the house well that is it my friends for last week i guess that was a pretty good week i want to thank you for watching and again please uh, like the video please subscribe to my channel i appreciate every single one of you guys i want to hit 500 soon and um just be careful have a great thanksgiving I meant to do this yesterday i just got tied up last night to be honest with you uh, be careful out there many states are going into semi-lockdown and stuff like that, please. Whatever, wear a mask, whatever you got to do, just, 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 just be careful. We got to get a handle on this. I want life to be back to whatever this new normal is going to be. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Please check out all the links below. I'm still offering my eBay training class for a tremendous discount. It's a great course. Uh, Martin Brossman and myself did it a couple years ago. It is evergreen, which means it's still current today. A lot of great tips in there for new and seasoned sellers and check out some of the other links I have on the bottom there. You guys have a great day and thank you so, so much for watching.